So today I'm going to be talking about things I hate about my 2018 AMG 63 G-Wagon Brabus. Let's go. So first things first, let's start with the exterior. And yes, I know it's super dirty. I should have cleaned it before this video. As far as the exterior, the only thing I hate is the black glossy paint because everything shows. It always looks dirty. Now, could someone tell me why I paid $200,000 for a car that doesn't even have cup holders? Now, Mercedes did switch up the wheelbase on the 2019s, but however, since this is a 2018, it is the most rugged and stiff and uncomfortable drive. It looks great. It drives like And if you're one that likes to go fast, even though they do advertise this V8 by turbo, which is a big engine, if you try to push this thing over 55, you're gonna have trouble keeping it on the road due to the wheelbase and the way it handles. Now, where I was really disappointed is the interior, specifically the steering wheel. Now, Mercedes is known for having some of the most luxury interiors out of any car brand, especially considering that the G-Class is one of Mercedes' most expensive models. I just thought the interior would be a whole lot nicer. Now, even though this is a luxury SUV, and in theory, it should be very practical because of the way it drives, just the lack of comfort and the amenities that are, well, quite frankly, missing in a car you look to drive daily. I don't enjoy this car in one bit from a driving perspective, and it's not a great daily car at all, even though you might think it would be. For a comparable price, you could get a whole lot more or even spending half the amount when looking at other models that Mercedes does have. What it does have going for it is the looks. You know, this is a very unique looking car, especially because it is a Brabus. But at the end of the day, I don't enjoy driving it that much, but I do enjoy looking at it. Now, I do have to say, I did not buy this car for the way it drives. I bought it for the way it looks. It turns just as many heads on the street as a McLaren or a Lamborghini does. This is supposed to be a reliable vehicle. I bought it with 30,000 miles. I put about 20,000 miles on it up to this point and I have dumped so much money into just keeping it running. At times, my dashboard has looked like a Christmas tree, from faulty tire pressure lights to multiple check engine lights. I just did not expect to have so many issues in a car of this caliper, considering as much as I did pay for it. It's not as reliable as people might say that these G-Classes really are. Now, the other day, I had my buddy go to get in, and he went and pressed down on the handle, and the lock came right off. I had to replace it, and it cost a thousand bucks. Are the handles falling off of your car? <laughs> like, and just the other day, someone who was with me went to adjust their seat, and the buttons fell inside the panel. So now the seat is stuck like this. It can't go back, and apparently Mercedes said it's gonna be $1,500 to get it fixed. It's crazy because, like I said, Mercedes are supposed to be these reliable vehicles, especially this G-Class. But I've had more issues and spent more money on this car to keep it running than I had with my McLaren 570S. So I don't know if it's just this car specifically or G-Wagons as a whole. And I hope, hope, hope Mercedes has resolved most, if not all of these issues on the newer models. But that is a list of everything that I hate about my G-Wagon.